And welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of Interest for today, Tuesday the 14th of February. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst of Go Markets here to lead you around what's happening across the news wires today. Of course, overnight we saw the US markets finish higher despite some caution around the US CPI number tonight. The general consensus is it's going to be better than last month again. It's whether it challenges expectations or not to the downside. If it does, that'll be bullish for markets. If it doesn't, if it comes in too hot, we would expect a sell-off. In essence, the Nasdaq reversed the previous two-day losses, suggesting that there is neither selling pressure nor buying pressure. We're in a short-term range right now. And we are seeing the US futures pretty near neutral. They are mildly negative in early Asian trading, but as close to neutral as makes no difference, really. We've seen Asian indices following that US lead across the board. ASX is up around 0.5% higher. And European equity futures are pointing to a higher open also. Just to reiterate that market calming, we saw the VIX drop back below the key 20 level. That's important, but obviously it could shift fairly significantly later in the session. The US dollar index pausing at the top of the range. Gold is still testing 1860 support. Copper is holding that $4 key level. And oil pulled back, but is still in a medium term range. FX markets are a little flat this morning at this stage. There was certainly plenty of action in the yen yesterday. And one suspects we might see some similar action today. Bitcoin is holding support after the selling we saw last week. And earnings season, of course, continues. Apart from that US CPI number, which is the headline out today, we had mixed Japanese GDP number already across the wires. We've got New Zealand inflation expectations and later we've got UK jobs and Euro GDP. Makes for a busy day-to-day, -day, lots for the markets to process. But at this stage, there is a positive air. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Uh, we're going to start with serial resources. We actually quite like this price movement here. You can see there we tested the 200 MA. And we've bounced quite nicely off this 182 level to make our way back over it in today's trading. In terms of how important this level is, you can see there we have tested it a few times. It was support back at the beginning of January, which suggests that there may be significant upside in this should we breach $2. If we do so, then we could see it up to 220, which of course is a 10% return. So that's going to be interested to see where that ends up at the end of the session you can see it is slightly off its highs at the moment but worth checking in with in the last hour in the fx world the aussie yen was very bullish yesterday you can see that very large candle the yen was very weak across most currency pairs yesterday uh, but you can see there slightly better today we are interested in a potential move higher of around about 70 pips if there's some buying pressure comes back into this pair but if we look at the 30 minute chart we've seen a gradual decline started in the middle of the u.s session last night bit of continuation in asia taking us down to uh, essentially what is a level that there was a pause on the way up at so it'll be interesting to see if we hold 92 there could be a short-term opportunity here up to around 92.50 if we do get a bounce off this level and perhaps even to 92.75 or even 93 should we breach this 92.45 level that was the high from yesterday. So a couple to watch. Risk is high today because of the data that's coming out, so please bear that in mind in your overall decision-making. Trade safe, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.